Hi developers, I'm Hossam Dillai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. Specifically here, we'll learn how to use the activity indicator to let the users know that the application is doing some background thread or some heavy calculations. So to start with, I'll fire up Xamarin Studio. And right from here, I have created a new project by going to File, New Solution. And here I have chosen the app single view app template after that here I have chosen the to preview the application as an iPhone 6 application of course you have, you can choose the others and also here I have chosen to not use the size classes so now we can add the UI activity indicator for that I'll go here to the toolbox and look for UI activity indicator so this is it, let's drag and drop it right here. And here you see that the UI activity indicator is too small. So if you want to make it a little bit um, bigger, then you can go here to the style and here choose large white. Because it's large and white, then the color doesn't appear. So we can change to another color. Let's choose one color from um, from this list of colors. Let's choose this one, for example. Then let's give our UI activity a name. Let's call it my activity. My activity indicator. Now let's control where to hide or show the UI activity indicator. For that, I'll go to the view controller and write inside the view did load method. Here, I call my activity indicator and tell it to start animating. Then we want to wait for like two seconds. At uh, this time, maybe your application is doing a call to a web service. So let's simulate that. For that, I call task.delay. Let's wait for 2000 milliseconds and to use task of course we'll need here to uh, add the using thread, uh, system dot threadings as it uh, has happened here and with the await keyword we need to use the async keyword on the method uh, signature then after uh, this uh, call to the web service simulated here we'll tell our activity indicator to stop animating but in addition to that it's really um, recommended to make your activity indicator be hidden so let's make hidden equal to true so with with both two lines your activity indicator will not use lots of resources so let's try this on the simulator so you see here the UI activity was uh, spinning then it hides from the UI screen so thank you